Okay, hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to download and install Skype. So if you just want to go ahead and open up your browser, I'm typing google.com. Go ahead and type in Skype. Then here you can click on uh, the Skype's website link. Up here you're going to go over to Get Skype. You can click on Windows. Windows Business, if you're a business, planning on using it for Skype for your business, or Mac or Linux. I'm going to show you how to do Windows, because that's what I'm running. I'm going to go ahead and click on Windows. And then you can click on Download Skype right here. And then it'll start your download right there. If you're using Google Chrome, it'll be right there. If not, uh, if you use Windows Internet Explorer, it'll start right up. Or if you use Mozilla Firefox to pop up window, it'll show it up in a little pop up window. So just go ahead and open that up. It's asking me, do you want to make the following changes? Do you, want to, do you want to allow the following program to make changes to this computer? Just click yes. Then you're going to see this window here. You're going to select your language. Mine's English. I'm just going to click agree and next. And now you just got to wait for it to for Skype to install. It may take a few minutes. And it may not be long at all. Um, generally, Skype doesn't take that long to in download and install. Downloads pretty fast. Installing is pretty fast too. Skype is an easy program, easy to use. Skype can be used for video calling and instant messaging. Also, with the newer Skype, I'm not sure if they updated the original yet or not. But with but in, in the future or now. Skype will be able to you'll be able to talk to your Facebook friends and you'll be able to video call your Facebook friends right directly from Skype Skype. As of right now though I normally don't use um, Skype to talk to my Facebook friends, but it is possible to use it. It's a feature that can definitely be used later on. Uh, you, it's also a feature that you can turn off. You can also make your um, image for also make your status for it's, Facebook different than from your Skype. You can be online on Skype, but you can be offline on Facebook at the same time from your Skype program. Okay, now Skype is finished installing. Little Skype windows right there. Skype is now popped up, and then my Skype is uh, well. Normally, you just pop up with a little window, sign in, whatever you'd like to do. Skype will be just down here, just like that, and there you go. Now you have Skype. 